Hello everyone, I'm Jay and I just passed the Competia Security Plus exam yesterday. Um, so this video, um, I will tell you what tools I have used, what experience I had, and also my test experience and the revision and so on and so forth, uh, so that somebody out there can benefit. Uh, when I posted about the exam result on social media, a couple of people already asked me, what preparation I have done towards the exam. So I'm making this video, hopefully um, someone out there will benefit from it. But before I start uh, telling you what I have used, what I've done, um, huge thanks to uh, Caitlin. Caitlin made a video on uh, YouTube about how she passed Security Plus exam in under two weeks. That's the first video I watched when I uh, thought of the exam and uh, that gave me the confidence uh, and I, I used the tools Caitlin mentioned and uh, you know long story short I passed the exam yesterday so experience wise uh, I I have been an IT well I have I was an IT manager for almost seven years um, so I know I have good knowledge and understanding of networking servers infrastructure risk management um, and so on and so forth. Uh, I don't have much experience with attack types or vulnerabilities um, as well as cryptography and some secure protocols and, and things like that. Uh, I, I heard of them but I don't know what they are. Um, however, uh, in, for, for the past couple of uh, years I've been focusing on security because we sell cyber security services so kind of familiar with the terminology and then familiar with what they are. So um, I booked my exam at the end of last year and uh, the exam um, date was 11th of January which was yesterday and I started preparing um, for the exam in the new year. <laughs> um, yeah so the what I have done is um, I bought professor sorry uh, I, I bought Mike Mayer's video on U Udemy so you video um, training on Udemy Udemy it costed me about 12 pounds I think um, but it was absolutely amazing I'm not a book person so just to let you know I uh, I uh, for, for some reason I don't like reading much so I'm a video person I like watching stuff or, or uh, listening to stuff uh, audio video so I bought the Mike Mayers um, and he was really good um, and then I started taking some uh, practice tests on examcompass.com exam uh, which they will provide you free Competia Security Plus practice test um, I think 24 25 questions per test um, and then I uh, went ahead and bought Jason Dion um, practice questions on Udemy again uh, Udemy 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 <laughs> uh, you know what I mean it's U D E M Y dot com Udemy dot com Jason Dion um, so there are six practice uh, text in, in, in the in the series and each co each test had 70 questions so that's 420 questions uh, which was good but when I started taking them um, <laughs> I, 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 I was failing in uh, those practice tests uh, and I went back to uh, review the exam and the areas I was failing and what I did was Mike Myers course was okay well like, really good I mean as a tutor is really good awesome but when I go back to revise the topics I was failing on um, because Mike's, Mike Mayer, Mike Mayer's um, training was uh, structured in a way that it has 10 chapters um, and each chapter has sub chapters and all that but exam uh, objective had only six chapters and, and sub chapters right so uh, if I was failing in some area like for example um, vulnerability management um, it's chapter wise for the exam is in one area and Mike Mayers is on a different area so I had to go and find and, and do all that so what I figured was I went on YouTube and found Professor Messer it was 
he was really good as well professor messer so um i went through a couple of modules uh, with professor messer as a revision and then the chapters i was failing or i was weakened uh, i did a <clears throat> yeah, so i was searching like vulnerability management messer and his uh, sub chapter would come up and i would go through the chapter so it's easier um but all three of them are really good mike myers jason dion practice test and professor messer i also bought <laughs> um daryl gibson uh book as well i also bought daryl gibson book but i never read it um <laughs> Uh, one of my colleague was going to uh, do the test as well so it was um, we thought it would be useful to have the book in the office so we bought it but we haven't uh, really read it so that's the preparation uh, i have done mike mayers professor messer jason dion practice test exam compass and there you go right and uh, going from there exam experience so on the exam day make sure you arrive at least 15 minutes before the exam start time i was there 40 minutes before um the guy asked me if i wanted to start the exam but i said give me some time so anyway so once i started the exam <laughs> i figured the pc was really slow i'm not sure if the pc was slow or the connection was slow but the questions were loading up really really slow right exam simulator software really slow so um straight away as many people would tell you on youtube um or anywhere regarding the security plus exam strategy um you get sina performance based questions five of them um and you get them at the very beginning and i got first five questions for performance based so my strategy uh, was as i go in leave the performance based questions and just go through each question after that and answer the questions that i know the answers for and mark the ones which i haven't answered and then come back to them again so that i can save time so exam has 90 questions and 90 minutes right uh, but for some reason my exam had only 82 questions and 90 minutes so um i left first five and I went through and as I was uh, around 30, 35 questions and I figured I was taking one minute or just over a minute per question. So I had to speed up because scenario performance based questions take long time than the normal multiple choice questions. Right. So um, I, I, I speed up and then in the end, when I came back to the performance based questions, I had 10 minutes left and I had five performance based so you can figure i i could have a, i should have saved more more time for the performance based anyway so um i did the performance based question and last performance question i had about 90 seconds and i did something and i was going to change my answer and the the exam simulator just froze up so it's finished time up right before that, I had a little problem in the exam as well. Um, so bef uh, when I had seven minutes left at the exam, uh, as I was saying, the PC was really slow. I went, came back to the performance-based questions. Uh, I'd answered the first one. I went to the second one. I thought I missed something. And then as soon as I hit back or previous question, the PC is was frozen. <laughs> and I went out and asked the guy and he came came in. I restarted the PC and then still couldn't fix the issue. So he put me on a different PC and it which took some time. But anyway, I didn't lose any exam time. Um, but this has happened, the drama for 10 minutes. Um, so finally, long story short, I did pass the exam, which for the most part, I, I thought I wouldn't pass. But questions were a bit tricky. Um, but if you know the concepts and, and what they are, the ter terminology and what they are, what attacks, what what the risk management, cryptography, and bloody bloody blah. blah, blah. Um, rather than memory dump, um, you would definitely pass. It's not an hardest exam on on on, on the planet, right? Um, so that's about it. Ten days you could do it if you have experience and time. I was studying a couple of hours, two hours, three hours a day, 
Uh, on the weekends, I was spending four, five hours. Um, so if you think about it, there was only one weekend <laughs> before my exam. And before the exam, I what I did was I went back to the Jason Dion practical test and I went back to questions I, where I did wrong. And I was, um, you know, just uh, revising them why I did wrong. And just before the exam, I did two, um, I redid the two practical tests I have done in the past um, to see if I'm doing okay, if I'm still answering some of them wrong. I did answer like three or four or five questions wrong, um, but at least I um, I know I'm, I'm, I'm trying to evaluate the concepts and, and, and answer the questions rather than re uh, memorizing the answers, right? So um, there you go, long story short. Um, hope this helps somebody. It's, it's an easy exam. Um, oh, the cost, um, somebody asked me about the cost. Cost of the exam, if you are not a student, if you are a professional or anybody else apart from the academics um, in UK, it's 205 pounds plus watt, I think. But if you buy a voucher from Com Compertia, you could get 10% off. I think there is a voucher code Pearson cert or something like that uh, you get 10% off if you are a student you get much more uh, better deal um, so um, there you go all right <laughs> thank you very much